Good morning, guys. Right, okay, so this morning, um, what I'm going to talk about is motivation and breaking it down a little bit because I think that w what you'll find is there's two places that you get motivated by, uh, one being progress and the second one being pain. Now, for most of us, what we tend to do, is, and I don't know what percentage this is, but it's a very, very high percentage, a lot of people aren't motivated by progress they're motivated by pain. And what I mean by that is they wait until something becomes painful before they do something about it, before they get the motivation to actually get up there and do something about it. And so let me give you an example of this. You think about your car, you get that warning light that comes on that says you need to top it up with some coolant or you need a, an oil change or whatever it may be, you get this little indicator that comes up. Uh, but your car still works, Do you know, it's not stopping you from, work, from, from getting to places and it. it's still working fine. Now, a lot of people, they just keep on running the car, running the car, do you know, it's not broke, don't fix it, and they keep on going with this until the car breaks down. Now it's causing the pain. Now there's motivation to get up and do something about it because you have to. And life is exactly the same. It, it works this way on every level, whether it's in business, your career, or as I just mentioned, in your life. We wait until things become painful. You look at your health or fitness. Do you know, we start... Uh, we, we, I don't know, we drink too much, we eat too much junk food and it's only when we get to a stage when it becomes painful and I don't mean it's actually physically call, causing you pain but something occurs that, that's unpleasant and that, that moment occurs that you start to take the motivation to do and do something about it. Maybe it's an illness that you've developed, maybe it's some, I don't know, um, anything, could be anything, you know, you, 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 but you wait until it becomes painful and unpleasant before you get up and do something about it. What you really need to do is look at the progress. Do you know, look at the progress that you get and use the progress as a massive motivator. That's the stuff that you should focus on. So what you need to do is start being more mindful of this. Do you know, start looking at things that's going right and using that as your motivation. And it's tough to do when you've spent all your life being motivated by pain. You wait until something becomes painful and unpleasant and then you think, shit, I need to do something about this and go and do it. It never works, you know. You it's you could call it procrastination. You could call it putting things off. It's a lot of different things, but ultimately we're motivated by these two things: pain or progress. What you really want to do is focus your attention on the progress because that is what's going to leap you forward, push you forward, and it's stuff that works. That's the thing that's so important about this: is it's stuff that works. Don't wait until it's broken before you fix it. Do you know, don't wait until it's there. It's too late. It's going to cause you a lot of headache. It's the same with the car situation that I just talked about. It's the same with the health. Same with a relationship, you know, you wait until a relationship becomes up that unbearable before you take the motivation to do something about it. You wait until your job becomes that unpleasant and you hate going before you think, actually, I need to think about getting a different job or changing something. So what you've got to do is focus on the progress. You know, what is the stuff that's happening? What's, what's obviously making you move forward in your life or your career or your business and focus more stuff on there. Use that as your driving force to push on to the next level. Work on progress, not on pain. Guys, have an absolutely wonderful day. It is Friday, so you can take that as a kick-ass Friday. Let's do the normal the, the normal stuff. Yeah, kick-ass Friday! Uh, but let's get some energy into this and go out there, make it happen. Stay humble, hustle hard, keep it true. 